Good afternoon, I'm Jeff. I'm a Sewer Tech Northwest. Today we're at property address 18360 Southwest Delanca Lane here in Lake Oswego. We're located at the rear of the home. Underneath the decking here up close to the house, we have a 4-inch PVC clean-out as our point of access. I'm going to insert the camera and check the overall condition and serviceability of the sanitary sewer line. We do currently have water running. We're using the hose here. It's a little easier to use this to run water than to run up and down to the house. So, anyway. And check the overall condition and serviceability of the sanitary sewer line. We'll zero out right here. Here we go. I'm going to let the line drain here for just a moment. My camera's running into something. I just want to be able to see it. My camera was able to pop over that. I wasn't sure it was going to. It's a, We're transitioning here from PVC to ABS. We just went over the top of that lip. But we do have a, uh, looks like a, the joint here is somewhat offset. I actually think it's quite minimal. Uh, I think more than anything it has to do with how this, with the camera's coming down in here and having to bend as well as pop over it. A little lip here um, but that right there just looking at it I can tell is I mean might be a quarter of an inch offset it's very minimal and I can see the pipe is barely coming up to the bottom of the camera lens there so, anyhow there's no debris or anything hanging out there I'll take a look at it again on the way out but uh, it looks like that the joint there is just slightly offset uh, we'll make sure that there's no other issues going on there but that's not something I generally would recommend a repair on if it were, you know, an inch or more offset, you know, causing debris to hang up there would be a different story. Yeah, transition back to PVC pipe. Here about 40 feet out. All right, appears, I believe we've reached the uh, terminus of the line here. I'm going to go do locates to verify where the camera head is at. It just tied into what looks like a uh, concrete manhole. And there is a manhole cover kind of at the rear right corner of the property. So I'm going to go locate the camera head, and we'll let the line drain out here completely. All right, located the camera head right at the uh, manhole. That's visible from either the deck or the, the top of the yard here. I do have an item here sticking down from the top of this pipe joint, right where it transitions. 
And granted, transition points where you've got two different materials, if you're using a rubber fern coat to join the joint together, is the most likely spot you'll get roots. This is a tough one to tell because we just have a single little strand here. And what can happen, and, and the other thing that makes me a little suspect is if you look at the top of that item there, it's much, much skinnier than it is at the bottom. Uh, what happens frequently is spiders build cobwebs in the lines and either an object comes down and kind of knocks them loose and they bundle up together and get thicker, um, or something coming down the line could have got hung up in that. Uh, but the fact that where it's originating from the joint is, I, it's, I mean, it's about the width of, a, of two human hairs. I, that does not appear to be a root intrusion to me. There's just not, I mean, it's possible, but there's just not enough right here to go off of. That could be just as easily be cobwebs there. It's about the right color to be. But I will go locate this just to get an idea of where it's at. Now, this is located down in the uh, gravel area near the fire pit. There's not a not a tree anywhere near that spot for at least 30 feet or so, and they're all way down the hillside. No, that does not appear to be a root intrusion there. Yeah, right here, it's a it's a really hard spot to get a good view of. It looks like that joint, it, it's possible it's not even separated at all, and it's just that more so it's how the camera's coming down here and running into that. That's the problem. If it weren't on a turn like this, it wouldn't be an issue. Anyway, this is not a joint that concerns me here. Everything's flown past it, no problem at all. Oh, just about back to the clean out here. I'm going to take a look inside the crawl space real quick to see. I believe most of the pipe in there is probably going to be dangling up in the air. <clears throat> so we're probably not going to scope much of that. If we've got underground pipe, though, I will. But everything from the clean out out to the main lateral back here in the again in the backyard area, we've got great flow all the way to that point. The pipe is all in good shape. This portion of the sewer line is functioning properly at this time. Now, all, pretty much all the pipe inside the crawl space there is dangling six to ten feet up in the air except for this little bit. So we'll just scope the rest of the line back into the crawl here. You can see it's going to go straight up. Now, all that pipe there from, from the clean out back into the crawl is also in good shape. But the sewer line is functioning properly at this time. And the reason we're not just going to run the camera all the way up through that stuff is it, it, it's visible pipe. We can see if there's any issues going on there mostly the stuff that's underground that we can't see without the camera we're trying to get scoped. But good looking sewer line.